how do you train somebody to get good at the holding that perspective? So one would just be like, they have to know what the other person's perspective is. And I'm curious if I'm not in a room with you and you're very good at it, but how do I grow to understand their perspective, whether it's my business partner or my significant other? So I'm thinking, you know, to put it in context, yesterday I worked with a session on a session for how is work, um, and the woman, the she she's a white woman, cis white woman who has worked with a black gay male supervisor. They've had a very very close relationship for working together for a number of years and a deep friendship. She thinks she left the job because they were stuck in a salary negotiation. And on some level, she feels that he didn't stand up for her. But she is a, she thinks this is the story of two dear friends. And that's the context. He thinks this is not just two friends. This is two friends of which one is black and one is white. And of which one person, it was going to look a certain way if he continues to negotiate on behalf of a white woman's salary, while there's a lot of other people there whose salaries are not being touched. She can psychologize their relationship and individualize it and make it just about him and her. He can never separate the friendship from the larger categories that they both inhabit. A few days earlier, I'm t so this is what I, this is the clarification. It's like, you know, it's f to, to allow him and her to, to basically realize that they've been mourning a different story. <laughs> And they came, they've had a conversation in their head for a year with each other. And they literally came to try to have this conversation once and for all, you know, by me basically holding a, a container for them. And a few days before, I'm working with a couple that own a gym. He, he's the tech, he's the thinker, he's the synthesizer. He puts it all there, out there and then he, you know, she goes in, she's the intuitive, you know, in the beginning, this was very attractive to them. It was a complementarity. That's another major rule of relationship. The very thing that people often come in fighting over is what was once originally very attractive to each other, when the meaning of the difference was different. So now I'm tracking with them. How did this thing that once was so attractive to them become a thing from which they fight with each other at home, they go and have staff meetings and they basically do their fights in front of the staff? Not good not a good idea right so we're looking at how did the complementarity turn into a polarization you know but here's the the, the as i'm saying this the, the probably the, the last thing this is a whole seminar i'm working on relationship is to explain to people this you never fight over the thing that you think you're fighting over or talk or argue whatever it is it's not the content it's rarely the content if I think that you don't care about me, no matter what we talk about, the fact that that's what I think is going to permeate how I interpret what you're saying. If I think that you want my well-being, I will interpret everything you say from that angle. The process shapes the experience. The form is more important than the content. This is like golden rules. If you want to write down the 10, you know. And with that comes the notion that people fight over three things primarily, power and control, trust and closeness, respect and integrity. Mm. And once you know that, you start to look, you don't listen for the noise and the content, especially when people have 20 years together, you know, there's a lot of stories they can come back to. You just look, what is it that they are really fighting over? What do they experience from each other at that moment? Is it about power? Is it about trust? Or is it about recognition? That is so powerful. And just to echo it very quickly, my, the biggest fight my wife and I have ever gotten into was over a cup of tea. And of course, the punchline to the argument was, we're not arguing about the tea. What is this really about? And mm -hmm. once we got to what we were really arguing about, then we could, you know, diffuse what the situation. Was it? What was um, it? it was that I was feeling disrespected because I wanted to take her away, which 
That's actually not true. I, at the time, I work a lot now, but then I worked to the point of damaging my marriage and my wife pulled me aside, said you're damaging the marriage, we need to take some time. I was so panicked about taking time off at that point in my career and we were so poor that spending what $149 on a hotel was like an unimaginable amount of money to me. And so when the only way I could justify it was the second we wake up, we need to get in the car, get to the hotel so that the moment we can get into the, the room that we get in, we make the most of it. And maximizing, maximizing. Yes. And she wanted to like to connect and to bond and to go slow. And for once, me not trying to be efficient. And and so she was, you know, wanted to have this cup of tea and just relax into the day. But she wasn't saying that. And I wasn't saying my side of it. So I was just like, yo, you're going to have a cup of tea now? And, you know, just like escalate, escalate, escalate until it was absolute madness. And finally me saying, this is how I feel. This is why I'm, you know, upset. And then she could explain to me her perspective. Then it was like, ah, you know, what you were saying of like, when you know what their perspective is and you can step inside that and go, oh, wow, this isn't an assault on me. This doesn't mean that you don't have respect for me or you don't care about what this means to me. It's that you didn't know what it meant to me because I never articulated it. And both of you had actually a shared goal, which you lost sight of. Very Each aggressively. Of you wanted to make this a special day. You had a different idea of how to do it. That that umbrella notion needs to be added on there as well. Yeah, completely. Very well said. Yeah.